Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout of the day. Today I'm starting out seated on my mat and I'm going to do a balanced bicycle. So in a traditional bicycle move you would be laying down on your mat, but in this one you're going to lean back, pull your abs in, hands can come to your chest or behind your head, whatever you prefer, and instead of bringing your elbow to your knee, they're going to go toward each other, but you're also going to make sure you're tapping your outside elbow down to the mat. That's one. Two. So you're really working your abs, challenging your balance the whole time, keeping that back straight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway done. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Next exercise. Heel touch plank. Okay, for this one, you're going to turn over into the plank position. So core pulls in tight. You go into the top of a push-up push -up position, and you're going to reach back. Opposite hand to touch opposite foot. So left hand, right foot. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, make sure you breathe, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Next exercise. High knees. Okay, so for this one, I have my timer. My cat's going to have to move a little bit. Sorry, kitty. <sighs> See how much he cares. <laughs> there you go. He'll probably just stay there now. <laughs> um, okay, so I have my timer set for a minute. Here we go. Basically jog in place, driving your knees nice and high the whole time, and keep moving. Make sure you breathe and try not to stop. We are at the halfway point. <laughs> Stepped on my own toes. Fifteen seconds left. Okay. Next exercise. Alternating hip drop. Okay. Just gonna get a little sip of water. Fighting a cold, so my breathing's a little heavier than normal. Okay, for the alternating hip drop, you're going to start in a plank, and then you're going to turn over to your right, drop, lift, that's one. Turn to your left, drop, lift, that's two. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway done. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, only two more, 19, last one, 20. Next exercise. Single leg hip press. Okay, so we're going to start the right leg, we get another sip of water. Okay, so for this exercise, you're going to lay down, you're going to bring both hips up, heels are planted into the ground, weight should be in your heels, butt squeezes tight when you press up, and we're going to do it with one leg at a time. So right leg extended, and we're going to drop down, touch, but don't put your weight down, and then press it up high, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep that weight in your heel, eight, nine, you should feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep your lip, hips lifting, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, weight in your heel, nineteen, last one, twenty. Next exercise. Mountain climbers. Okay, so this is another timed exercise. And we're going again for one minute. So go into your plank position and you're going to drive your knees to your chest one at a time. Here we go. And this is another exercise where your goal is to keep moving the entire time. Hands should try and stay below your shoulders and drive your feet. If you want, you could tap your toes down, whatever's more comfortable for you. Keep breathing the whole time. Halfway done. Only 15 seconds left to go. Okay, next exercise. Get ups. Okay. For this one, you're going to alternate feet. So, what you do is lay down with your arms extended over your head. <laughs> okay, and you're going to stretch out one foot and bend the other one. So I'm going to bend my right leg underneath my left leg and then bend this leg to get up. So stand, right leg stays bent. I'm going to use my left heel in your hand if you, can, if you have to, but if not, don't use it. Reach up and drive that knee up. Go back down. Gently roll your way down and switch feet. So, right leg is bent on top of your left leg. That was one, two, switch, three, switch feet, four, gently come back down, five, Alternate. Six. 
six. Seven. Halfway done. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> I lost my balance. <laughs> Thirteen. Again, you're getting up through the weight going into your heel. Is that 14? Yep. 15. 16. 17. Nineteen, one more. Right foot on top this time. And twenty. Okay, next exercise. Reach through sit-ups. Okay, so back down on the mat for this one. And we're actually gonna scissor our legs. So we're gonna start laying down. Shoulder blades lift, arms reach, feet come up into an L, core pulls in, and you're going to open, reach through, that's one. Close your legs as you stretch your arms back over your head, but keep your shoulders lifted, so that way your upper abs stay engaged the whole time. Two, three, make sure you breathe, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Next exercise. Next exercise is Russian kicks. Okay, so another timed exercise. For this one, you're going to plant your hands below your shoulders, lift your butt, and you're going to switch kicking your feet. Okay, one sip of water first. Okay, here we go. So switch feet. And again, the goal is to keep moving. Keep your butt from touching the ground. And just keep going the whole time. Try and keep your core pulled in. It can be difficult with this move. Halfway done. seconds left to go. Nine seconds. Okay, next exercise. Right seated, one leg stand. Okay. Sorry guys, it's cold. It's really getting me more than I expected. You're doing great. Oh, you bore me to tears, but you're doing great. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna sit on the chest for this one. You can use a sturdy chair or any other object that you could get up from. I recommend having your knees at a 90 degree angle, or you can even be a little bit higher. 
but if you go lower than that, you're really gonna have to work for this. So right leg out, arms out, push through your left heel to stand, that's one. And then lower yourself back down. Don't let yourself drop, we don't want any hurt tailbones. So controlled, lower. If you don't think you can, I'd rather you reach back and then lower your body, okay? So that was one. Spoken two, like a true OT. Three. That's right. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And it always weight is in my heel. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, other side. <laughs> Just when you thought you were done. <laughs> right leg plants, weight is going to go into your right heel. Same thing, left foot extends this time. Whoops, one, lower down, two, three, four, five, weight is always in my heel, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, next exercise. Romanian deadlifts. Okay, so for this one I'm going to use my weight. If you have... Um, dumbbells, soup cans, any small hand weight will do, even a kettlebell, you can hold it in both hands and the form is you only want to bend at your hips, so core pulls in tight to support your spine, legs can have a slight bend, your butt is going to keep reaching backwards, keep your body straight, no arched backs, straight the entire time and reach until you feel a nice stretch. If you want to keep your um, leg straight you can. Okay, so I'm going to use my big weight for this one. Oops. And I'll show you from the side. I'm going to keep my weight as close to my body as I can. When I stretch down, butt stretches out backwards. That's one. That's two. Three, back staying straight is number one priority. Weight should be in your heels. Five. Six. Seven, squeeze from your glutes. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next exercise. Okay, next I'm doing squats with the same weight. Again, you can use hand weights and just, or even do your squats from a body weight position. Um, but what you want to do is put your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart to slightly point it out. If you're using a weight the way I am, it should be resting across the tops of your shoulders, but there should not be weight on your neck. Um, so what you want to do is same thing as the Romanian deadlift in theory, where you want to stick your butt out backwards, but this time we are going to bend our knees coming down to parallel and then squeezing from our glutes all the way up. That's one. Two, stretch that butt out backwards. Three, four, chest stays lifted. 
five, this is an up and down motion, six, seven, but reaching back, eight, nine, ten, weight in your heels, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, three more, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Okay everyone, that was my entire workout for today. You can check out the breakdown on my blog, benderfitness.com, plus there's over 200 other free workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living, so I hope to see you there. And as always, there will be a brand new workout tomorrow, so have a great night.